We have a special award at Disney called the When You Wish Award. Uh, Anything go with that? Uh, let me see. Nope. Okay, that's great. The When You Wish Award is a special award that Disney uh, Resorts has been kind enough to allow us to give out to one person who will represent the entire festival. Um, we have been giving this award or a, or a version of it for the past few years. And in many cases, it is a, always a compelling and moving story that goes with it. And tonight's recipient of the When You Wish Award is a little different than what we've ever done before. And first of all, I have to start this off by saying I'm old. And as you get older, certain things loosen up like these things around your eyes. So I'll try to hold it together here for just a minute. I know, the oohs and ahs. See, you're making me start already. The individual we're going, that was nominated tonight and will receive this is not our typical individual who receives this award. This is an individual who has changed lives for years. He, uh, he, I guess I gave away one part of it. The individual has had a great impact on hundreds, no, actually thousands of individuals. He is an individual who gives of himself more than you will ever know. Uh, those people who know him well will understand this a little later. It is an individual that truly believes in his art and in his craft. He is an individual who has sacrificed much and given much. As teachers, uh, you all know, as teachers that are sitting over here, every job ever created started because of you. You have given starts to many. Every student you've ever touched has been uh, taught by a teacher somewhere along the way. This individual that will receive this award tonight is one of our teachers. The individual has, uh, oh, I'd say a, a half a dozen to a dozen people who are performing on Broadway at this very moment. Some of our characters who performed on the stage tonight from Disney were former students of this individual. This individual has touched people's lives in ways he does not know. And we hope he will feel that tonight. We would like to, uh, on behalf of Heritage Festivals, award our special When You Wish Award to this individual. But in order to do this, we wanted to do it in a right way. So we uh, have brought down two of the founders of Heritage Festivals, Mr. Kent Smith, who's with us, and Ms. Merle Allred, who will join us on stage momentarily, we hope, to award this award. And we want you to know this is an individual who is representing each one of you. And I want to say for the past 35 years, and has traveled with us for the past 30, who represents literally thousands. Doctors, lawyers, performers, uh, teachers, any person you can think of, I'm sure he's helped him. Could we have the director, Mr. Alan Rowe? <laughs> one of the founders of Heritage Festivals to say just a few words or and on behalf of Mr. Rose. There are certain people who do have a great effect on more people than uh, they will ever know really because the people they affect affect those around them. It's contagious and I have known Alan Rose now for a long long time back when both of us had color in our hair <laughs> and he how long was it that you had color in your hair Merlin? Well, eons, 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 Washington was president <laughs> but we appreciate and love Alan Rose and all of the directors that have done so much for the lives of all of you young people. So let's give a hand to Mr. Rose and represent all the directors of the
worthy of stopping the show for a moment. It's Mr. Rose, come on over here. Now let's show everyone what you're receiving. The, the uh, When You Wish Award, he's receiving in a hand-drawn, original, one-of-a-kind lithograph of Miss Tinkerbell, part of the castle with the ear on it, framed and everything. There's only one in existence, and he's receiving it right here. Ladies and gentlemen, with everything we have been discussing of what this fine gentleman has done for years and years, he deserves a standing ovation. Yeah.